Adjusting the grip. Remove the grip by loosening and completely removing the 4mm Allen screw so that the grip can be taken off entirely. A small hint about the grip itself. With a one-shot pistol like the LP1, LP10 and the LP2, you always have this plastic plate here. This grip is also suitable for the LP5 and LP50, but a small change is needed. Remove the plastic plate and the metal piece, and then reposition the metal plate in the bottom of the opening. So this grip is also suitable for all Steyr multi-shot air pistols. For one-shot pistols, the metal piece needs to be removed again, the plastic plate reinserted with the metal piece being placed on top of the plate once more. At the rear of the housing there are two 2mm countersunk screws and on the underside there are four of these screws. By turning these screws you can achieve different angles for the grip. Here you see a demonstration of these different angles through using the metal shaft of the screwdriver. If the grip is mounted without any adjustment of the underside screws, the pistol is straight. If a shooter prefers the grip angle to tilt forward, the two front screws need to be loosened a bit. By loosening these screws the weapon moves up and the front sight automatically becomes higher. So if the screws at the rear are loosened, the rear sight moves up and the front sight tilts down. The same principle applies to the two screws at the back of the housing. If you loosen one of these screws, the weapon tilts in the same direction and the front sight automatically tilts to the right. Loosening the other screw tilts the pistol to the left side. It is important to ensure that the screws underneath the housing are always adjusted parallel to its counterpart. This means that both of the screws must be loosened the same amount, no matter if it is in the front or in the rear. You even have the possibility to adjust the weapon so that the grip and the housing are not completely aligned. If you wish the grip to be tilted to one side, loosen both screws on the same side an equal amount so that the weapon tilts to the opposite side. Depending upon which screws you loosen, the weapon tilts to one side or the other. It is important that only one adjustment of the two pairs of screws underneath the housing is made. This adjustment can be either on the same side or on opposite sides. An adjustment at the same time in height and to the side simply using the screws underneath the housing is not possible.